hello now in this video i am going to show you how you can create add book form so we are going to add a new book so before that we have this mdi form in this mdi form we do not require this so i am going to delete now right click uh, sorry click here and now edit items and i am going to delete this all menu and okay now i am going to add a new menu books inside that i am going to add add new book so now we have to create one new form so i am going to add one new form not here right click here and add and we have to click new item we have to select window form and we have to give here name add books now add so now we have one form and now we need to create one new table so i'm going to right click here add new table it will take load first time so we have to wait okay so now we have id in integer and we have to give auto increment so property identity specification and we have to give yes Okay. Now, boots name. Here we have to use where here. Fifty. Then we need boots underscore author name. Again we need where here. Boots underscore publication name we need where here boots underscore purchase underscore date we take here a date then we need boots price where here and then we need puts quantity we need integer okay now we are going to save here our table name should be puts info and now update update database we have to take here integer also for price again update update database and now i am going to refresh here so we get here boots info and i am going to add one book over here so we can see what is the date format sometime yymdd mmdd yy we can use anything test 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 oh yeah book purchase date so i am going to write here 12 12 2012 now 12 books quantity 2 so 
so we have to write like this 12 days month MAY and then days year name so we have to remember this now we are going to create this form because if you are uh, don't remember this then you are getting error so i show you first what format this supports now here we have to type text boxes we need one two three four five six text boxes one two three four five and six and now we need six level one two three four five and now six and now we need one button so okay now we need to change this label first level text is boots name second level text boots author name for third one boots publication for fourth one book purchase date for fifth one boots price and for last boots quantity now we need to just set like this you can format whatever you like Now we need to call this form when user click on menu so here on this click event we have to call this form boots a b is equal to new add underscore boots a b dot so so now i am going to run this and going to chat when we click the, this form is open or not why we are getting error oh yeah now here username password amit amit login now click here and add new book yeah our form is open so now we have to perform insert query over here and uh, for this purchase date we can use here uh, calendar control also so i will show you that later on first of all we are going to uh, use a simple query i am going to show you basically so you can easily understand how we can create this form and how we can create project now we can copy this transaction string from this login form
this using system dot data is already added so we do not require to use this because it is already added now here we have to perform database turn entity turn it on open then turn it on close then sql command cmd command type is equal to command type dot text then cmd dot command text here we need to write insert query mcn dot execute non query now insert into boots underscore info values we have to pass all the fields value otherwise if you want to pass only three fields value then you can pass here column name and then you can pass values but we need to pass all the fields value so we don't do not require that now here we need to pass one two three four five six then one two three four five six and first one is where here so it's okay second one is also where here third one is also where here purchase date it is also like where here book price integer so we need here only double quotes and books quantity also we need where here so double quotes do not require single quotes where the field is integer now here percentage 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 uh, sorry plus plus for quote plus plus sometime it happens now here need space then control space you will get here text box one dot text now copy this paste here text box two now paste here text box three now paste here text box four now here text box six now we are going to perform operation test two test two test two now save now we are going to close this and we are going to check in table record is inserted or not you have to refresh here and you can see we get here record so now for this we need to pass one message record inserted successfully so here message bot dot so boots added successfully and we need to clear all the text box values so text box one dot text is equal to blank copy this paste 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 and we need to change here only text box name two three four five six now we are going to add one more book and we are going to check we are getting message or not books add new book test three test three test three books price 500 quantity 5 and save would said it successfully and you can see here all dead spots are planned now now we are going to check here again you can see here so this way you can create this form now in my next video i am going to show you how you can add here date picker so you can select directly date from here in next video i am going to show you that we are going to um, make this project very slowly because i want to show you everything how you can perform this so you can easily understand how you can create project i will show you everything regarding this
thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it so maximum people can use this thank you so much already